Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan. Today is a bit of a pointed topic. Um, supposed to be thought provoking, can feel a little affronting. That's never my goal, except sometimes that is my goal because when we get uncomfortable enough with truth, sometimes that is the impetus for change. So I am okay being, you know, someone who likes to be a touch more candid with things that feel true or uh, that are true. And so I had read a little blurb the other week that really just resonated. It said, a healthy mind, a fit body, and a good relationship. Those are things you build. And it really just struck me how we don't really ever fall into really quality things without hard work. Hard work is the precondition for most good things to happen. But then when good things happen, hard work is going to keep those good things in our stories. But usually things don't come to us without work, without some sort of intentional effort, intentionality, some sort of we pick a direction, we walk towards it, we strive, we, we engage in, you know, meaningful kind of goal setting, meaningful inputs. And I want to use an analogy to further illustrate this. And that is the idea of let's say you buy a new house. And you have this house and it is custom built. It has all the bells, all the whistles, all the little accoutrement that you might potentially want. And once you have it, you do nothing with it. You don't update the downspouts and the gutters. You leave the shingles alone. You don't touch, you know, the drywall when it starts to break apart. You don't fix the appliances when they break down. You just let stuff kind of go the, the natural way. There's going to be a problem. Now, not right away. It's going to have some good things for you for the short term. But in the long term, that house will dilapidate and it will collapse around you if you are not putting in preemptive things to help keep it sturdy and strong and reinforced. The same with a fit body. The same with mental wellness. The same with spiritual health. The same with relational health. The same with financial health. One of my favorite sayings is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you wait until things break down, there's often astronomical costs to that because good things take hard work. Good things take intentionality, both to get them and then to keep them. And so often we lament, well, why can't I have this? Why can't I have this? Why can't I have this? And often I'll say to clients or even to myself, Steph, did you do the work to get that? And if you haven't achieved what you want yet, keep working. My life verse is Galatians 6, 9, do not grow weary of doing good for in due time you will reap. That is a promise that input and input and input and input, it will have a payoff. Now, can I guarantee the payoff that it has? No. Can I guarantee there is a payoff to hard work in some way, shape or form? Absolutely. I can guarantee that. My life is a testimony to that. I'm sure many pieces in your life is a testimony to that. But I want to be clear again, we do not stumble into good things without work. We do not maintain good things without work. Good relationships, good mental health, good finances, um, a, a fit body, healthy practices, healthy spiritually, healthy um, uh, with, with parenting. Those are things you have to fight for. You have to be intentional. You have to keep showing up in the day-to-day -day grind and commit to kind of inputting into your life in ways where there will be good outcomes. You have to be really intentional about building the life you want and you have to work hard for it. And if you haven't done the work, I think get up and start doing the work and don't sit there and lament that good things aren't happening for you. We have to wonder what are we fighting for? What are our priorities? Where are we aggressively seeking things that will improve where we're at in life? Not everything's about action and production, but we don't deserve anything. We don't stumble into anything without putting in the work. So I want you to think about that. What in your life needs to be built? What would the hard work look like to build it? If you don't know where to start, it's good to come talk to someone who is intentional with building systems that promote outcomes that we might want. It's a good thing a therapist can do. It's a good thing a mentor can do, but it's also something I believe you can do. And I believe it's something we all should be doing because we don't stumble into good things in our lives. We work for them. We hustle for them. We put an intentional effort. And that is a way to get things in life that fill us with joy, where we have contentment, things that make us happy because we have decided to put in the effort to get the payoffs that we want. Something to consider. We're not going to just stumble into good things. What does it look like to work for them?